If you liked this game, if you like this game, if you like this game or plan to use it in your classroom at all, please let me know down in the comments and hit the... <laughs> hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight. With Thanksgiving coming up, I wanted to share a turkey themed game for you called Turkey Races. In case you haven't noticed a theme over the last 47 weeks, I like my games to be low to no prep. I usually have them be partner games and I like that they are fun and easy to play. So this game falls right in line with that and it's actually kind of similar to some of the addition games I shared last week, particularly the one pig, because the object of this game is also to be the first to get to 100. But with this game, instead of using dice, they are using a turkey themed spinner. Let's see how to play. Last week I'm going to go ahead and insert a little video where I show you exactly how to play the game, but essentially each student is going to get a spinner like this. Um, I have four spinners included in this game, and you can pick if you want students to use the same spinner, if you want them to use different ones. They just have different numbers on there for them to practice, so B has 0, 1, 4, 9, and 15, A has 10, 3, 6, 2, and 8, and then there's two other ones with just some random different numbers on there. There are two different boards that you'll see in the video. One is going to be more applicable for students using uh, manipulatives like base 10 blocks, and the other one will be for students to use 10 frames and kind of keep track themselves as they race to be the first one to 100. Okay, so here is the first board, and I'm using the Turkey Races B spinner. Again, they're all different. I landed on nine, and this is the one that I would use with manipulatives like base 10 blocks. So I started with player B, I don't know why, but player B got nine, player A got zero, player B got zero, back to A, four. So I would have them actually use the ones cubes until they need to make an exchange for a rod or a 10 stick, whatever you call them. I always call it a rod. So she's just got nine again. So when I'm doing this in first grade, I would always have them actually count out all nine of the ones first and then they will go ahead and group it and make a 10 to go ahead and exchange. Uh, I like having them do this so they can actually feel and see how many it is and how it's the same amount here, just with a tens rod and the ones. And then every time they do get a tens rod, they will go ahead and color in one of the little blocks. They're all in increments of 10 on their turkey races chart. Now here's the other one. You'll play the game the exact same way. I did go ahead and switch the spinner over to the A spinner just so we have some different numbers. And this is done the exact same way. They just spin and then they go ahead and add little circles into their tens frames. For both of the games, as the teacher, I like to walk around and see, I ask them how many they have so far. So when we're working on place value, I like them to count up those tens first and then add on the ones after. So both of these ways, either with the rods or the tens frames, are good for that. Like you saw in the video, it's a very simple game where students just go ahead, spin, add, and race their way to the top of the game board. The little spinners and the two game boards are included. They've been a freebie on my TPT store for years now, so that will be linked down below so you can go ahead and grab those and use them in your classroom. If you like this game or plan to use it in your classroom in the upcoming weeks, let me know down in the comments and hit that like button. Also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and always click that bell. That way you're notified of every new week's video. Have a great week. Bye.